46. So who's Nedge? Uh, that Me. is Steady. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Okay, I so accept your friend request. Where are we with... Thanks. Uh, You're welcome. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So out of 50 you've taken 25, 30, 2 damage. 32 damage from your 50, so you've taken a lot of damage there. Um, oh god. Yeah, because... Uh, what is it? Um, a steady run brings the ship under control. A damage limitation run would have let you avoid a lot of that damage, which is why I was I sort of. Oh shit! It. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, your turn now. Let's go again. Mm. What kind of run are you gonna do? Remember, one of them smoking badly. You can you can make out one of them smoking pretty badly. Okay. Um. You gotta finish that guy off. Wait, doesn't the steady run give me like an automatic strafing run when I'm attacked? I thought it said that somewhere. Yeah, it does. Yep. Yeah. So you can make an immediate strafing run against the guy who shot at you. you okay, does that count as my next turn or is no. it like a different no. thing? No, it's a bonus. So you, you okay. Just get it. So, so, so then I'm an so then I'm doing that. Okay, so making it. Okay, and that's D20 plus eight. 8 again? Yep. You basically, yeah, just don't okay. get a 1 on you've hit him. So you've hit him, and now you need to uh, do your damage. Oh, right. Uh, this isn't the one that's smoking, by the way. Oh, it's not? No, he's not the one that shot me. Oh, it's the one that hit me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So okay. okay, that's pretty pretty okay damage. That's okay. And uh, now you have your normal turn. Okay. Just go for it. Just go for it, man. I respect you so much if you just did a hammer run now. So that fuck this shit. This is like the pilot thing. You're a pilot. Getting a, you know. I know. I was actually considering doing that, but then they also get plus five to their attack. If they survive the round, then yes. If they, I do they, that, they get plus five. But, but remember, okay, so you're does firing this only all of your weapons. Does this only apply? You're firing all of your weapons twice. Does that only apply against <laughs> both of them? Yeah. Okay. Fuck it. All right, I'll do it. Okay, roll against your perception on a d20. See if you can. Bring the ship under. Oh god. Um, oh fuck me. I, will, I did say a nine, but that's a bad roll. But oh, okay, yeah, fine. Yeah, you, you do it. And um, so now you are doing that. So you need to roll two attacks for each of them. So roll two attacks normally plus eight. D20 plus 8. Oh, okay. Uh, nope, doesn't hit. Uh, uh, the next one, a D20 plus 8. <laughs> it doesn't hit. The next one, D20 plus 8. Man. <laughs> oh my god. You're oh my god. Die. The next god. one, D20 plus 8. Okay, that one hits. Okay. Um, <laughs> and roll your damage at uh, 2D10 damage. Okay, right. Uh, the the one that was smoking explodes everywhere, and just like you know, bits of shrapnel and twisted metal are thrown in all directions, and you your ship just like sweeps straight through it, and you gain another attack because you you killed an enemy ship. That's what happens. Okay. Uh. It even says okay, so if just you, if you destroy an, an enemy vessel. D twenty. Yep. D twenty plus eight again. Yep, you get you get all of your attacks back against a new target. Okay. So, uh, fire twice, fire once, yeah, against. Yeah, oh, you, thank yep, God. You, there you we go. And that that actually okay. deals damage to the guy inside the cockpit as well. So what I want you to do is um, 
personal if no part of the ownership did anyway. Okay. Okay, uh, what's the damage of the homing missile? It's uh, uh, 2d10. 2d10. For every... Okay, so basically you roll a d20. Uh, 2d20s, and that's how much damage hits him on the, in the cockpit. And then you, then you roll again. Uh, okay. So roll d20, just a base d20, just one. Uh, okay, just a d20. Yeah. Just the D20. Okay, it's nine damage. Is it D20 instead of two D10? No, no. Th th this is actually hit oh, him in the fine. cockpit. So, uh, so roll another D20. Just a plain D20 yep. again. Yep. Okay. Oh fuck. Uh, he's fine. <laughs> now you roll damage against the rest of his ship. Normally, so two D10. Okay. Okay. Uh, he's still going, so he's going to fire back at you. He's going to... Ooh, oh, shit. Plus five. He's going to miss. And he's going to hit. Uh... So you got 32 last time, so you have 18, da 18 whole points left. Before you you explode, um, and this weapon does uh, forty six damage. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> uh, oh, he does fourteen damage. He got four four left. Oh fuck. my god! Okay, so um, <laughs> he, he basically slams into you. Okay, so um. You get your attack now. What what kind of run do you want to do? Bear in mind, if you try and get away, he will get uh, a free attack on you, which will probably kill you, ship. Yeah. Um, so which one see. of these runs would you like to do? Um, I'm just gonna do another hammer run. Make sure he dies. Oh, hopefully. Okay. All right. Okay. Four what? HP. Is that a horrible no. decision? No, 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 no. Go for it, man. That's what it's all about. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> okay, roll against your perception on a d20. Okay, that's fine. And uh, so now you do your hammer run. Add plus eight to your... to your uh, thing. To my d20 again? Yeah, pl add plus eight. Okay, oh god. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. Um, roll two d20s, because they, they, that hits his cockpit, straight his cockpit, so it hits him. It explodes through. Two d20s? Yeah, you can just roll them at once if you want. Okay, um, he's very nearly dead, and now I've just rolled your two d10 against his ship. Okay, he explodes like in like a shower of, oh, of, of, of metal and all that. Thank God. And uh, you just you, oh, you, that was so stressful. <laughs> you you pull up like you you're listing badly, like you're choking away, and you're leaving like a smoke trail behind you. And uh, <laughs> you, you you basically you can if you uh, make a perception roll for me, just like a normal perception roll. See if you can make a D ten. Uh, D twenty, uh, plus your. Oh. Okay. Plus your plus eight, because you know. Okay. So you, so, so you can like make out like uh, through the smoke where the uh, top of this Minuteman One tower is, and you know that you know you need to land to make some like much needed repairs to the ship. Uh, so you can roll against your perception again to try and land it without crashing. But take okay, against my perception or? Yeah. So so, so you roll a, a d20, but it's plus four, not plus eight. I'm taking four points away because you're listing that badly. So you need to. Okay. But it's not a high roll you need to get, you're just landing it. Yeah, it's fine. So, so, okay. so, so you land it nice and safely, and uh, we'll come back to you in a minute to do your. to do your, uh. you know. your thing. So yeah. Do, do we have communications with each other or not? Uh, yeah, you do. 
You you just heard so, all that go down. Um, well, I ask Mara if, it, if it's worth me coming up to the helipad to try and fix it, fix the the shuttle a bit. If that's well, that an option? Yeah. I, I, okay, then I'm yes, absolutely. The yeah. I was actually thinking of how nice it would be if you were there. So, come on. Yep. My intelligence so. is average. <laughs> hey, uh, so, what, yeah. what about the game? <laughs> no, Jake. Um, yeah, so. Hey. So, so, so you... <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so so you, you guys are in the elevator. Well, hey, that's some subtle way later. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, you guys are all in the, uh, the elevator going up. And, um, like, you've heard, you've just heard all that go down, and you guys have heard the exchange between Kadujin and, and, uh, Mara. So what's everyone saying? Well, I'm, ju I'm just gonna stay in the, uh, in the elevator and go up to the 70th floor after they get out and there. Uh, okay, so, so, so the, the doors, the elevator stops with, like, a ding. And the door's open, and you're on the 63rd floor. So, we'll leave it there for like five minutes, and then we'll come back. Alright. Alright. What, five minutes? Okay. Interference. Anyway, I'm going to try that. That is so annoying. I'm back. I didn't leave. Back again. I've got like an hour left before I need to leave. So. Oh, do you have to leave early, early today? No, my or Emily gets off at five o'clock, so I have to leave here at four thirty, and it's three twenty-six currently where I am. Oh, right, you're two hours ahead mm -hmm. of me. I forgot. Yep. I mean, I was going to say, I don't know what everyone else's schedule was, but if on Saturdays, if it was possible, you guys wanted to start a little bit earlier, I'd be able to stick around a little bit longer. But Yeah, like well, I, that would like work I, for I, me. I have I to leave at 4.30. I don't know about everyone else, but that's fine with me. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. I mean, we started at seven thirty British summer time, so it's easy enough to them go a bit earlier. Okay. Yeah, because over here, like, we start at one thirty in the afternoon my time, so. Um. I mean, yeah. however earlier you guys want to start would be with me if everyone can because um, I mean I wake up at like 730 in the morning so yeah you know have to see however the early eyes can do it be better that way we can get some more time in yeah I imagine the